So this is a set of my gifted by mom. She uh, she purchased them in the States and sent them over to Korea and I just got these delivered. I'm excited. It's really heavy. I think this is around, um, I don't know how many kilograms, but ah, so it looks like this in the box. This is the order, the order description. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This is an information pamphlet. Cutco product. Oh, this is a product care guide of Cutco. Every knife is individually wrapped in bubble wrap. So let's try this one. Ooh. Like in so many layers handle this one is so they have a product number on the cap of the knife this one says 1726 which is 1726 is a white turning fork white turning fork looks like look at the ends they're they kind of like flare out i don't know if you can see it yeah and it's pretty thick on this and this white isn't just like solid, pure white. It kind of looks like a marble. I'm not sure if you can see the marbling of this. This is cool. That's so made in USA. All right, I appreciate that. This one says 17, 1768. Oh, I guess this is a... Oh, cool. So they actually had, it's pretty convenient. So let me take this out. Ooh, this is a butter knife. So this is 1768, which is white spatula spreader. Nice. Next one is 17, 1728. 1728 is white petite I'm going to open it the same way I opened. There is a tear that they made for you to open easily, which is very nice. Ooh. Ooh, oh my goodness. This is so sharp. I'm very, very excited to use these knives. All right, next goes 1729. 1729 is white petite carver so this is a carver let's see you know i was actually never really like interested in kitchenware until my mom started introducing oh okay this is interesting too at the end it kind of like there's a curve it's not just straight horizontal line but it kind of curves up down and up it's very fancy so yes i was not very uh into or interested or too interested in um like kitchenware or you know like house living stuff until my mom started introducing uh these utensils uh like silverware and even these uh these knives and yes there is a difference uh when you use really good quality products and i cannot deny it and I feel like once you start recognizing the quality and what you can do with good quality items, you can't really go back to, I would say like cheaper products. Not that they're bad. Okay, this is 1721, which is white trimmer. White trimmer. Oh, maybe this, I can use this for like fruits. Yeah, I, I mean, I appreciate like affordable items or whatnot, 
But yes, I I I started um, or I learned to appreciate the quality that these uh, items bring. Also, this is 2120. 2120 is white 4-inch paring knife. Ooh, paring knife. Ah, this kind of looks like a fruit fruit cutter too, or maybe like cheese. And I realized that the more you invest into these products, the less you will spend um, for the long for the long term because because they will wear out slower, right? Yeah. So I think like what it is is that so I think the more you invest into these uh, products, you you actually end up spending less because these products will wear out slower. Maybe um, I'm actually planning to use uh, these knives until or for the rest of my life. I hope I don't have to replace them ever again. And I think that's what this quality brings. 1724. This white slicer. Wow, this is kind of, oh, oh, maybe this is like a bread cutter. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Well, it's a little bit less intimidating because the end is a bit round, but it is long. Okay, so this one is, and yes, as you know, cut curl knives are guaranteed forever. And this one, Oh, these are nice. <gasps> wow. So fancy. Wow. Wow. So the current pair of scissors I've been using is from Ikea, which is probably the best I've used so far. But I feel like the next best one is up. Oh, this is maybe the container. Ooh. Wow. I also really appreciate the way they pack everything. It's very sturdy, very safe, and very protected. This is also wrapped in bubble wrap and a separate box. Wow. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Yeah, it reminds me of a birdhouse. Now let me put the knives into. Is that it? Oh, there's another one. A knife sharpener. Oh, I think my mom sent this to me. Oh, nice. It's convenient. They just go like shh, 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 like that. Ah, this one goes kind of scared. Ooh. Does this fit? No. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that correct? So yes, I am very thankful. Thank you, Ma. I'm first going to wash all these knives and I will use that. So the set I purchased is a total of nine, including the scissors and the fork. And there's a separate slot. There are two separate slots here that maybe I can individually purchase later in the future. But for now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it comes with this one. I will 
share the link below if you're interested in buying them um, or check them out. It's my first time ever using such like high quality knives in my life. So I'm not really sure how it's going to be, but I am very excited and I'm also pretty sure that it will be good, right? And I really appreciate this gift. I feel like I've always been using um, utensils that were just bought off the streets or I would just walk down the street to Daiso and just pick one up. So I feel like my quality of life has increased a little bit. Hopefully in the future I can show you some cooking using these utensils. If you have any questions, feel free to write down below and I'll come back with more content.